go to templates. Now, as you can see here, um, this is all of the range of templates you have for mobile app builders. Um, we have my business app, we have a pub grill business, trivia game, restaurant app. And as you can see here, we have 11 pages full of different templates you can choose from, most of which are for the Android and Apple uh, platforms, and also Amazon as well. And they're in all different niches, general business, taxi cabs, travel apps, restaurant apps. There's a few restaurant apps, um, RSS feeds, you know, small business apps, blogging apps, um, iPad bookstore where you can do in-purchase, um, in-app purchases, you know, a quiz app. Where you, quiz apps are huge right now where you can build your own quiz uh, for whatever niche you want to build, you know, a following through that. Um, photography niches for, you know, say a wedding photographer. So I could go through all these pages and show you every single one of the sports app, you know, the bar app. But, you know, for this example, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, pub grill business right here. But that's a massive uh, range of templates you got there, Sean. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. That, that's been one of the big things that people have really liked, um, just the range that they have to work with. And the cool thing about it is it's not just those templates. You can start from scratch and easily build something. Um, just as powerful for whatever your, you know, client demands. Awesome. Let me just log in here. And we'll create that app. And we'll go through those details later. Okay, so we have uh, the Delaware. This is just a general grill pub app. And it's got the menu, the VIP card, the reservations, um, ways to reach out to uh, the Delaware, which is a bar restaurant. But for this, since we're doing food trucks, let's type in San Diego food truck and go to the first one here that shows up, not so fast food truck. And as you can see, you got the logo here, all the social media, the blog, the content, um, the about us, the schedule, they have their menu on here. So what we're going to do is build an app for not-so-fast food truck in San Diego. I love San Diego. I live in Buffalo, New York right now. So San Diego is kind of uh, you know, on the radar as far as getting to somewhere where it's nice and warm. Um, so that's kind of why I used it as an example here. Um, so the first thing I like to do is kind of customize the app to match the branding for the client that I'm prospecting. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. I use a tool called Jing to take screenshots. It's the easiest way that I've found to uh, take high quality screenshots and use them within my apps. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and grab the logo here. And then I'll capture that image. And then I'll save that image. And Jing is a free tool. I've uh, talked about that to my subscribers quite a lot. It's a tool I, I use a lot myself. And uh, free tool downloadable from TechSmith, so easy to get hold of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a great tool. I've been using it for a long time. So now we have the logo. And then I'm just going to also grab the background just to match the branding. So just whatever you want to. It, it doesn't need to be a huge file. I'm just going to grab the background file. Save it as the background. All right, and we'll go back to this and go to the resources box to upload. Let's see, desktop. There it is, there's the image. And then you go to edit pages and go back. See, there's a lot in here you just kind of got to sift through. Okay. You got to make sure that the image is renamed to fit and, uh, and actually go into the app. So instead of top image, that needs to be top logo. And we'll go back and we'll grab the background again. Looks like it's 
party in there. Make that a JPEG file. Now let's go ahead and upload that. And we'll also upload the background. Now sometimes it takes a minute to kick in and actually show up on our app. We'll click Done. And we'll go to Edit Pages. Now as you see here, the uh, logo image kicked in and the background will kick in in a minute or two. Sometimes it takes a few refreshings to do that. Um, now the first thing on the agenda here is the menu. Uh, now if you go back to the Not So Fast Food Truck website, we can go down and find our menu, download a sample menu. That's what we want. Now as you can tell it's a PDF file. So we'll go ahead and save that PDF file. And uh, let's just put it right on our desktop so we know where to find it. So as you see they have the beef eater, the shroomy, the lamby. So we're going to put that on the mobile app so that people who download the mobile app can uh, not only access the menu but get push notifications and find out where they're at next. Um, so for the menu, that's tab 2. We just go here and click at it. And what we're using is a PDF page. So the only thing we need to do here is replace that PDF. We're going to go to Upload File. And we save the PDF right here, Sample Menu 127. And we'll click that and hit Choose. So now we'll save it, and it's done. Now, here on the Preview app, you're not going to be able to see the actual PDF, but we have a, a preview app for Pillar apps that you can download a preview on your own phone, and that's when uh, the menu shows up. So the PDF menu will show up here. All right, and now we have the VIP card. Now it's for the original template. We'll go through there, and as you can see, right now the background kicked in. So now you see the background part of that, and we'll go to Edit Pages. Now here with the loyalty program, this is cool. Now obviously you're not going to place a stamp on a, on a phone. You do that digitally. And the way that that works is that once you go to the establishment and once you go to the food truck, they actually take your phone and type in a secret password um, to give you credit for a stamp. So if you buy five meals or four meals at the not so fast food truck, you get the fifth one free. And it, after you get stamped, once the employee puts in the password, you get your free meal. So it's a great way. Here's a secret code. So we'll type in uh, not so fast password. Hit save and then done. So now you have a loyalty program. And there's a few other ones that you can check out. Um, and I'll, I'll show you a few examples of this later on. Um, so now you have the home screen. You have the menu. You have the VIP card. Now reservations, you're not going to need reservations for a food truck, obviously. We're going to go ahead and edit that. Now right here, there's a way you can convert this page. What we're going to do is just a basic About Us page. Now as you can tell, there's several, several varieties of pages you can choose. And I'll go through and demo them right now. Um, the great thing about Pillar Apps is it's as simplistic or as complex as you'd like it to be. You can use a template, plug in the information, and have your app within 10 minutes. But if you have one of those $5,000 apps, you go through and, and really customize it to your client's specifications. So as you can see, there's many page types. There's several, several pages to, to pick from. There's HTML page types. You know, there's native page types with calendars and uh, a, a lighter. Um, there's a slot machine game, a voice recorder. You know, a magazine store type page, uh, geo page types like check-in or location or nearby locations, a lot of image types, a lot of games. Um, so there's just a lot here to choose from. Here are all the different scanner pages like loyalty type programs. So not only do you have the loyalty, you have the GPS scanner, you have the barcode scanner. So there's a lot of different options here. But what we're going to do is just the simple About Us page. Um, instead of the reservations page. That, that's pretty cool though, Sean. So what you've basically got here is the ability for um, anyone who wants to really dig into the, the tech stuff, they can do whatever they want, but for those who 
maybe don't have that technical capability, you've got almost every capability sort of ready to go in, in template format uh, that they can just uh, pretty much, well not quite drag and drop, but just uh, upload to a, to a different tab on the on the app homepage. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, that's correct. That's exactly it. That's why this caters to such a wide variety of uh, of app developers, just only because the options are there. That's you can amazing. scale your business. Yeah. So you're going to pretty much wow any uh, local business owner if you if you show them uh, this kind of capability, uh, and they're going to think you're the the programmer from uh, from I don't know where. But uh, I mean, that's amazing that quite so simply you can have those kind of um, functionalities in in your app that you just uh, you just load up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we're just going to customize the About Us page. And uh, let's see. We have their number here. Because they are a food truck, they're not really going to have an address. So for the telephone number, we'll go ahead and edit that. And this is quick to call. This makes it as easy as possible to, uh, to get a hold of them to figure out you know, where the food truck will be that day. And then we'll add the About Us section. As you can tell here, let's see, there's a nice paragraph and a picture of the couple that run the food food truck. So we'll just add a quick, let's see the heading address, the About Us page. We'll just copy and paste that. And the website. We'll just type this website in. And if they don't have a mobile website, there you go. You have another uh, service to provide for them. So you have the click the call telephone number, the website address, and about them. So we'll save that. All right. So right now we have our home page with the logo. We have the menu, the PDF menu, the VIP card customized for not so fast. Um, and then the reservations, we'll go ahead and change that right now to the about us page. That is awesome. You're getting some pretty, um, pretty pumped up comments in the uh, in the chat as well coming in. Everyone's uh, pretty impressed as I am. This is uh, this is incredible. Oh, great. great. So in here you see the standard tabs. Obviously you can get very customized with this, but you know instead of reservations, we're going to put about us, and we're going to save those changes, and then we'll hit done. So now you go to about us, and you see the click to call. You see the website address. You see the about us, the VIP card, the menu. And then the home screen. Now on the home screen, we have reservations. So we'll go through and change that reservations and directions. Obviously, we don't need those because it's a food truck. Um, so let's go ahead and change that right now. So you, here you see the home page, the menu page, the VIP card, and then the reservations. But what we want is to edit pages on the tab one. So reservations goes to tab four. That's the About Us page. Whoops. Directions, we don't need that. We'll take that out and then the VIP card. So right now in a matter of, I'm not sure even how long I took there, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, yeah. We have a native app, the not so fast local food truck. Got the menu. Got the About Us with the click to call, the website, the About Us. It's got the VIP card where they can get a free meal when they frequent the, the food truck. Um, and it's also got the menu on there. So that's the basic app that I would send to somebody who's interested. And then you can have that uploaded and live on the Android market within a couple hours, which is amazing. Back in the day, you could never get an app live within a matter of a couple of weeks because there's so much coding involved. And now you can get it done within a few hours. Um, for the Apple iTunes Store, it will take about a week or two. They have a much more stringent approval process. But with these kind of native apps here that uh, utilize the, the PDF menus and the loyalty programs and you know the click the call functions, it's a lot easier to get approved than a lot of the other apps that don't have those features and that are more uh, based on on the web. That so, that is uh, pretty amazing. And those like those um, those uh, buttons, I guess they are that the the menu badass VAP card. You could change those to a different image, um, 
or a different color or anything you wanted instead of having those particular designs if you wanted as well. Right. I guess right. absolutely. You go to edit pages and then you know say if you wanted to change the about us, you would just go to convert and then you just have I mean a plethora of pages and you can do it in view or you can do it in you know where you could visualize if you wanted to add uh, you know pictures of the food if you wanted to add you know, social media integration. I mean, there's so much I could do. I could, we could be on here for hours creating wow. this app, with adding different functions. Um, you know, there's different games you could add, which is cool. You can do a viral game where they take a picture in front of the truck and upload it to Facebook to win, you know, a free meal. There's just, I mean, the possibilities are endless with the builder. That is really incredible. And, and I guess, you know, if there were, are you adding new features and templates and capabilities uh, over time as well? I mean, I guess if, if there was something that one of one of your users really wanted that wasn't in here, I mean, I, I think that's pretty unlikely, frankly, from everything you show me. I think you've got all bases covered. But if there was, is that something you would be upgrading in, in due course and adding functionality? Yeah, absolutely. We're constantly upgrading. I mean, we've been around for a month and we've already added a few new templates and we've already added some new features and... Um, you know some new ways to go about uh, developing the app. Uh, we've had, added um, for Android and Apple having the localization strings that allow people to um, have their apps in different languages. Uh, and, you know I know that Andrea on the call right now uh, is German. She made a German app, so uh, we're constantly upgrading to the system. And you know we're here for the long haul to really, um, you know, to really provide the best possible app builder for the long term, where you can really develop the most simplistic or most complex app that you desire. That is that is phenomenal. I mean, I tell you what, guys, you know, I sort of said it a moment ago, but uh, and I get excited about these things, so forgive me, but, you, you know, you show a local business owner something like this, and so you can produce it to, for him, you know, and if you haven't got the confidence to, to charge a high price initially, you know, you, you, sh you sure will have once you've sold a couple at a low price, so, you know, getting started, you show one of these apps functioning to a local businessman and offer to build him one uh you know he, it's it's not going to be a hard sale to make um i mean you, know, you get your the capability that's in, inherent in here and, and and like Sean was saying earlier with the mobile apps having a very high perceived value you offer this to a local businessman for a low price and demo something to him um, I mean, I think the world's your oyster, and uh, of course, as your confidence grows, if you have to sell a couple cheap to start with and get your foot in the door, that's fine. But it won't be long before you're uh, charging thousand bucks, or maybe even more for more complex apps. So, you know, it's it's just an open door. And um, like I was saying at the beginning, you know, we live in a in a time in history which there's never been before in terms of the opportunities that there are. Uh, that um, you know, uh, an app builder with this capability. Uh, can be available to people um, without technical background to produce such uh, highly swept up and impressive applications that you can uh, you can provide to local businesses. So it is exciting, and um, uh, you know I'm I'm almost I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm carried away. It's just awesome, fantastic <laughs> thing. 